What up, Joe? It started with the penis part. Y'all ain't ready for this one. They ain't ready. Do you mean and brand You did it again. Come on. Oops, I'm For what? I wanna see the same image. Yo, what up, Joe? It's your boy, Do me. All right, boys. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. P from the URL, P from the URL, apparently he does everything. He does everything, right? He was on uh, Black Compass, Min Norbs, Min Norbs, we get it. You know, we get the Norbs stuff. And he said a few things that really uh, irritated me a little bit and made me think and made me, made me pause, right? Y'all like, like, like to say pause, right? Y'all like to say pause, but... All right, well, let me read a little bit of what he said. You know, he's, I feel like what he's trying to do is he's trying to... Um, He's trying to control the media and control the narrative here. You know what I mean? He and and, and just just take a listen. Just take a listen to this. First of all, he says, and this is what he's telling to. Uh, uh, he's speaking to Tony Bro, Posey, Rome DMB, uh, Drizzy, and uh, Tony Polo. I'm closely watching what you guys are doing. Jay Black has all the media by the throat right now, but he doesn't do radio. I would love to see a radio show come up based on positivity. I'm not mad at you guys for having critical things that you want to say, but it's not what you say, it's how you say them. Jay Black is a prime example. You can be successful and respected. Um, I keep it a buck with you. I tell Smack Beasley, Norbs, Chico anytime, these dudes get out of pocket. F them dudes, don't F with them. Uh, no more exclusives. Don't go to their shows, ignore the DMs, phone calls, ignore all the text messages. You'll be a black sheep if you get, if you, if you get like that. Yeah, I read it right. You'll be a, basically, you will be a black sheep. You will be blackballed by the URL if you get out of pocket. Now, what does out of pocket mean, right? What does out of pocket mean? Could mean a lot of things, you know. We don't know exactly what out of pocket means, right? Um, luckily, I don't really care. You know, like me, I'm not interested in, 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 in close relationships with them because, number one, I'm a fan. I wanna, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a fan of battle rap. I give the fans a voice when I go on my lives. I give the chat a voice because I, I read all their messages and um, um, I communicate with them. All right, because I think the fans are very important here. All right, something that URL, the, they love to dig at the fans as every single time they can. They dig at their fans, they make fun of their fans, they mock their fans. And, and this right here, if you get out of pocket, if you get out of pocket, you're going to be the black sheep. What, what are you guys talking about? I've talked to other leagues, guys. I've talked to other leagues. And I've never gotten that kind of response from them. Any other league I've talked to, they've told me, um, we appreciate what you're doing. Uh, we, we, we accept the criticism. Good or bad, it comes with the game. That's what they tell me. It comes with the game. Keep doing your thing. That's what all the other leagues say. URL here, they want to control the narrative. They don't want people talking bad on them. And I think that's a disgrace. Yeah, so I just I just think it's whack, bro. But like what, what they're trying to do here, like basically they're saying they're gonna they're gonna you're gonna be blackballed, right? You're gonna be blackballed if you don't toe the company line. If you do not toe the company line, all right, and do it and and don't like basically what criticize them. Okay, that that is that like what, what is that, bro? Like is that what is that what y'all really want to put out there? Is that what y'all really want to put out there? Now let me get this straight. I'm not saying that uh, black uh, compass media. That, that's what's happening with them. But I'm saying that URL is trying to do that. They're trying to do it. All right, so I don't know, bro. You know, it just, they, need, they need some media training 101, right, for, for the URL. They, they just, and, and the fact that they said it publicly that, the way they did, you know, I don't know if, if he realized where he was and where, who, that he was talking to, to everybody, you know, in that scenario. Um, but it, it just amazes me that, that one, they treat their fans like trash. Constantly mocking them, calling them thieves, always, always talking about the bad things, the, the bootlegs and this and that. All right. Now, now tell them, hey, if you don't buy the pay-per-view, who cares about you? We'll see you in 90 days. You know, you, you're going to get it for free, you peasants. You know, in 90 days, you can wait. That's the way they talk. That's the way they talk. Not in those words. Basically, that's what they're saying. Right. Sleepy. They're sleepy. Right. And before that, you know, what he actually said was before he even got to that, that little rant, he also said something else. He was like, he, he, he wants the fans to stop picking and choosing when they apply criticism. He's, uh, this is what P is saying. And he gives the example of Jazz takes her jacket off against e -Heart, and people say she's gassed and then Clean Paper does it against Twerk and we go crazy because we love Clean. Bro, all right, like, 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 oh my God. Every situation is different, all right? Just because you take your jacket off in one situation doesn't mean, doesn't mean the fans have to re react one way, and then when another situation happens, someone takes their jacket off. It's all different, bro. It's all subjective. We're going to do what we want. We're fans. Leave us alone. We're going to do what we want, all right? You can't control the fans, bro, and you can't control the media, all right? 
because it doesn't like you can control a couple people in the media all right but but the beauty about media is you it's free free media all right i don't care about this stuff like you know oh like like let's assume i'm blackballed all right great great C congratulations right what does that even mean what does that mean you are what you're not gonna give me a boring interview uh, let me let me tell you something i can't stand when when when, when like the shows they have the the uh, the pe the league owners on and, and then the uh, or or even the half the battlers right because they're all boring you guys even 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 on uh, on everyday struggle when they have a, a guest rapper on there I think that's boring all right they come on and they ruin the show they ruin the vibe they ruin everything I would rather hear the fans talk and argue and this and that I don't want to hear from the league owners and I don't care about the exclusives and this and that all right whatever happens is gonna happen it's gonna come out we're gonna cover it all right I don't need to be the first one to drop anything the first exclusive one all right I don't need free tickets to your event. All right, I'm going to come and I'm going to pay for my ticket because I don't, I, who needs that, right? And, you know, I, I, and I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to, I don't want to be biased towards any uh, particular company, but it seems like the URL, and, and just the fact that, that there's even that, uh, there's even, it's out there, right? That there are, you know, there's a lot of bloggers out there, they'd be talking about this a lot, all the, the URL controlled media, you know, they talk about how Jay Black is, and, you know, and I, you know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't prescribe to those, uh, uh, conspiracy theories but these comments right here they don't make it any easy bro they don't make it easy to for me to, uh, to not believe them all right because just let me read it one more time because it's really it's really crazy bro just just re really just hear what i'm what he said here all right i'm closely watching what you guys are doing jay black has all the media by the throat right now what does that what does that even mean huh just because he's the top blogger doesn't mean we're all we're all by the throat who cares like y'all live in this like world of of, of, of ridiculousness bro um, but he doesn't do radio. I would love to see a radio show come up based on positivity. Based on positive. So what? Just supposed to be positive? Huh? Well, what do you mean? All right. When you cover something and anything, there's negativity involved. What do you mean positive? Yeah. Okay. We don't want to get crazy. Maybe like, I know what you're talking about in, in a sense, but bro, th this is, this is, this is trash. This is complete trash. You should have never said these words, bro. And I can't believe I'm the only one calling you out on this because nobody said anything. I'm not mad at you guys having critical thoughts and you want to say, but it's not what you say, it's how you say them. All right, Jay Black is a prime example that you can be successful and respected. All right, that's fine. But not everybody's Jay Black, bro. Not everybody's Jay Black. Well, you want everyone to be like Jay Black? Because no, we're not all going to be a bunch of little Jay Blacks running around. All right, shout out to Jay Black. Champion, champion, that's great. All right, let him do his thing. Let us do our thing. All right? Like, just because we're not like Jay Black doesn't mean we can't be successful and respected, bro. All right? I keep it I keep it a buck with you. I'll tell Smack Beasley, Norbs, and Chico anytime these dudes get out of pocket. F them dudes. Don't F with them. Uh, no more exclusives. Don't don't go to their shows. Ignore the DMs and phone calls and all text messages. You'll be a black sheep if you get if if you get like that. You're gonna be a black sheep if you get like that. Always us, never them. Right, right? <laughs> Always us, never them. You're gonna be a black sheep, right? Is that what you say? Oh. All right, bro. No problem, bro. I guess I'm a black sheep now. I'm gonna guess I'm a black sheep now. Alright? Because you know, and, and, and you're the only league like this, bro. I have had, I've talked to other leagues, and, and they don't have this attitude, bro. They, they, they respect what, what we do, all right? They respect the criticism, all right? And they said, it, it, they charge it to the game. They said, okay, so what they said, they charge it to the game. Just remember, soak the shocker, soak the shocker, charge it to the game. That's what we do. You know, the credit card, we charge it to the game, all right? Just get out of your feelings. Stop disrespecting your fans. Stop trying to control all media, all right? Like, just, just stop, bro, because it doesn't work. It's not going to work anyways. All right, because there's something called freedom of freedom of expression, freedom of speech, freedom of press. All right, and and the fact that you're doing it so publicly shows how arrogant you are. It shows how arrogant you are. All right, and you needed to be called out on it. I don't care. Blackball me all you want. Congratulations. I don't care. All right, you're not gonna stop me from from purchasing your pay per views and watching and watching your uh, watching your um, battles and going to the events. You're gonna you're gonna stop me from coming to the events. I don't think you are. All right, so what are we talking about here? What's a black ball? I don't need interviews from you. I don't care. Okay, do your thing. I'm going to do mine. All right? Voice of the people. The people need a voice. DME show. Go to the, when, when I'm on live, go to the DME show. All right? And ask me anything. I give the chat a voice. All them chat dudes, they get a voice. I, I read everybody's comment. They get a voice. You know why? Because these are the people who watch you. These are the actual fans, bro. People who are that involved on YouTube and, 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 and about battle rap and everything, they actually love this. All right? These are your hardcore fans. And they deserve a voice too, instead of being dogged on and, and making, and instead of being made fun of, Norbs and Beasley constantly making fun of them, constantly making fun of their fan base, bro. All right, and if you don't, if you think I'm over exaggerating, go listen to, uh, go listen to all their interviews the past three to four years. If they're not, if they're not disrespecting their fan base, they're disrespecting every other league. All right, that's fine. You can be braggadocious. We're number one, this and that, but you're you're, dis you're, you're disrespecting the culture every single time when you're like, doesn't matter. 
whatever they do over there, it's all dealy trash. All right, it doesn't matter unless it's on the URL stage. That's not true. That's the only true because you want it to be true. All right, I don't understand y'all, bro. I don't understand because you, you don't need to go this route. You already are number one. When you're number one, you don't need to tell everybody that. All right, the the number two and three guys are the ones who's supposed to be talking, and talking all that smack because they're trying to get where you are. But when you once you're there, it's unnecessary. But but you know, it it doesn't surprise me because your business model's trash anyways. You're going to this pay-per-view model, but you, you don't even have an option for the fans to uh, to to get the uh, the battles, um, uh, the YouTube edited versions of these battles uh, within a, a decent time period. You're not using YouTube as a promotional vehicle anymore. All right, you built your fan base off YouTube, and now you're just going to abandon it, saying you're not going to get battles for three months. That's not the way to go, and I'm not, so I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised that you're going this route. And then you're talking about raising the pay-per-view uh, for Smack after, uh, if you don't order it now, it's going to go from 35 to 45 to 55. You know, well, what are you doing? You're, you, and then you, then, and then you have the gall, you have the nerve to cry about bootlegs. You want to charge $60, but then you're going to cry about bootlegs? You understand how the real world works, right? You understand how the real world works. Maybe you don't. Maybe I'm just crazy. All right, maybe I'm the one who's crazy, right? But hey, it's your it's your league, it's your business. You you make the decisions, all right? I'm a fan. I'm gonna speak my mind. If you don't like it, then it's too bad. All right, you can't stop people to talk. You can't stop people talking, bro. So that's how I feel about it, man. It's crazy, man. I just I, I just don't like I don't like the condescending attitude that they have and and this whole uh, we're gonna you're gonna you're gonna be blackballed now if 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 you get out of pocket. Explain to me. I want to know what out of pocket means. All right. Because I want to make sure I stay in there. I want to make sure I'm not in pocket. All right? Because I don't want to be in pocket. I, I, I'm not. The type of person I am, nobody, no, you don't tell me what to do. All right? Number one. Because once you start telling me what to do, then I'm not a man anymore. Peace.